Welcome to the Nerd Card. I'm Phil. I'm Chuck. And we just went and saw Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Hell Madness. Yeah. Now, uh, Chuck, you had uh, gone on Instagram and said some stuff. I, I did. You know, I, I liked the movie uh, quite a bit. It was really good. I mean, it, but it wasn't, was it Spider-Man No Way Home? No, it, it wasn't as good as that. But it was a typical, you know, uh, top half of the Marvel Universe level movie. Oh, sure. Yeah, I wouldn't um, put it at the bottom or anything. No, I mean, it, it, it's good. It, it's it, But it, it, it didn't blow my socks off. Sure. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would. It didn't. Um and you know, Doctor Strange. You know, the, mo- the most fun part of the movie was really the Illuminati. Yeah, well, and, and was... spoilers, by the way. Yeah, if you if you haven't seen <laughs> this movie, you know the Illuminati's in it, so we ain't got there yet. But there will be spoilers beyond this point. There will be spoilers. Uh, turn it off. Go watch the movie, and then come on back. Yep. Uh, let, yeah. Before we get to our grievances, let's get to the fun part. Yeah. And there was a point in this movie, as we're in the theater, that I literally slapped my knee and went, "Yes, True. I seen it." <laughs> I was very excited. Yeah. And that, of course, was the introduction of Reed Richards. Yeah, John Krasinski. John Krasinski playing Reed Richards. I was so excited about that. Often rumored, everyone, all fan favorite, fan casting darn near. Everyone wanted John Krasinski, and you see Reed Richards, and it's John Krasinski. The MCU said, you know what? Last time they wanted something, we gave them those Spider-Men. Yeah, and And that uh, that worked out okay. That worked. So we're going to do that again. (laughs) And uh, it it was great. You know, he was a great Reed Richards, but... But that scene also uh, brought back our first X-Man yeah. in the MCU. Sir Patrick Stewart. As Charles Xavier. It was awesome. Uh, leading the Illuminati. It was really, really, really cool. And he was on screen. Now, all the Illuminati was on screen a lot more. Uh, oh, a lot more than, than I expected. Yeah. Um, you know, and we had the first Avenger, just not Steve Rogers, Captain Carter. Yep. Uh, uh, Haley Atwell. Haley Atwell. She did a really great job. Uh, Monica Rambo was uh, was Captain, was Captain Marvel, Marvel instead yeah. of Brie Larson's Captain Marvel, um, but it was it was a really cool scene, a lot of fan service, but a lot of fun. And yeah, for sure, it, it was great, and that was about the extent of the um, multiverse really that you really experienced. And, and you know, I'm just going to start with grievances. Sure, um, I was really hoping that it would be another founding foundation building block, and if it is, it's not apparent now on on the events of what happened in Loki where. You know, that was all about timeline and making sure timeline was locked down. We didn't have all these different realities and we didn't have all these multiple <laughs> universes. We didn't have, you know, because Kang even said, you ain't going to like my other versions. Well, yeah, all well, where is he? Build up. And, <laughs> and, and it's just it's a fight between Wanda and Doctor Strange. Right. A good one. A fun one. Oh, sure. A fun movie. But at the end of the day, you get essentially... A Scarlet Witch, a Wanda who's become the Scarlet Witch somewhere, because it's not clear that it's in our universe. Right. In fact, I don't think it is our Wanda. Well, at I the end of WandaVision, she's puppeting. Right, which at the time said, I yeah. said that I don't think that's our Wanda. Wanda, Wanda uh, the Scarlet Witch, I don't think that's our Wanda. I think it's a different one. Sure. And uh, it, it seems that way in this movie. And ultimately, you have a Wanda somewhere is pissed that she didn't actually have the kids that she created in... WandaVision series through our Wanda. Sure. <clears throat> and that's really the well, why all of this occurs. Well, and it's it, the crux of the whole thing, right? And it's not the timeline being broken in the events in Loki. It's right. something else, which doesn't make sense to me in the way you would build up this space. Well, yeah, and it could be, uh, you know, broad strokes thing that we just can't see the whole picture Maybe. yet. And for sure. Uh, I'm not they've the smartest done that. guy in the world. They, they've done that in the past, for sure. Marvel yeah. always seems to be a few steps ahead. But I felt like in the other ones, you kind of felt the fan- Thanos Sure. Coming, and we're not feeling the Kang coming like we were with that. Right, yeah. I mean, we saw him in Loki and then nothing else. Uh, Another grievance uh, that we had uh, was actually, the. I mean, the best part of the movie was the Illuminati. Oh, uh, 100%. And we forgot to mention Black Bolt. uh, Yeah, Yeah. same guy who played him in the show. They're really cool. I mean, they're bringing in all these uh, characters and actors that we wanted to see. But one of the things that was kind of missing from that was in the promos, it really looked like there was a... Iron Man sitting there and yeah. that didn't happen. I was really hoping to see the little fellow as Iron Man. It would have been really cool. Yeah. I, I would have loved to see Tom Cruise as Iron Man. But the other thing that we got was Sam Raimi beating us over the head with his style. Too much Raimi. It was a lot of it, I mean, it looked like Evil Dead scenes cut into the MCU. Um, and not that I mean, I didn't necessarily hate that, but it was it was beating him over the head. Beating it. you over the head. I like and yeah. I, lo- <clears throat> I like <laughs> Raimi. I love the Evil Dead. 
I knew I was going to see Bruce Campbell because you have a Sam Raimi movie. You see Bruce Campbell. Yes. Okay. Of course. And, and that's fine with me. But it was, it, Phil put it exactly like that. I don't need to see the evil dead shots in the MCU. Yeah. It, bring, bring a little bit of flavor. Yeah. He dumped the whole, he just took the container off the salt and just went. <laughs> and dumped the whole yeah, thing. Just too much. <laughs> and well, you know, you've said it before. He needs to take a page from Taika Waititi and, yeah. and go. That's yeah, how well, you bring here, your style, but you stay in it. Here's my style and a freaking awesome movie yeah. i mean um, look at taika what he's done in star wars also yeah oh yeah he without doesn't a doubt. With slap the us with his style but he brings it yeah so you're absolutely right and Raimi could have done the same thing yeah. instead he made a, an evil dead film starring dr strange and wanda yeah so it is what it is that said it's an enjoyable movie. Yeah, we, no, I liked it. We did like it. Uh, I'm probably going to see it again in the theater. I will, too. Uh, it is it is that good. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up yeah, for us. Yeah, I think yeah? so. All right, great. Well, in that case, I would like to remind you to check us out. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, we Spotify, all of that good stuff. We are out there. Let us know what you thought of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness in the comments below. And it, uh, with that, we will say, what's, what's on, on your, your nerd card? card?